Fats. Are they good or bad? Will I gain weight if I eat fats? Are saturated fats good or polyunsaturated fats? You know what? I have removed fats completely from my diet. You know, that zero fat diet. We have so many queries and confusions around fat. So if you're also confused whether fat is good for you or not, then today's video is for you as I am going to talk about everything you need to know about fats. Good ones, not so good ones, and even ugly ones. Welcome to my channel. I am Rashmi Charyan, your sports nutritionist and founder of Wellness Walls. Over the years, we have been told that eating fats will add inches to your waistline, raise cholesterol and will even cause a lot of health issues. But now we know that all fats are not same. Just like carbohydrates and proteins, our body needs some amount of fat for certain body functions. And remember one thing, our body makes its own fat from the excess calories consumed. So no matter how much ever your diet is zero fat, your excess calories consumed in the form of carbs or proteins will get stored as fat. So the point is, you do not have to eliminate fats from your diet as some fats are better than others and may even help to promote good health. Fats are a backup source of energy when carbohydrates are not available. One gram of fat provides nine kilocalories. Fats provide insulation to your body and help in maintaining normal body temperature. We need fats for the absorption of fat soluble vitamins A, D, E and K and these vitamins are very essential part of our diet. Fats are also required for brain development, controlling inflammation and for blood clotting. So overall, fats are very essential to our health. Research about the possible benefits and harms of dietary fat is always evolving. So the current evidence is to focus on choosing healthy fats and avoiding the less healthy ones. So now we know how important fats are. So let's look into the different kinds of fats. First category of fat is unsaturated fat. They are healthy fats which helps in reducing the risk of high blood cholesterol and have many other health benefits. These fats have one or more double bonds between two carbon atoms and are not saturated with hydrogen molecule. So as a result, these fats are liquid at room temperature. Avocado, nuts, soya bean, canola and olive oil contain unsaturated fatty acids. They are of two types, monounsaturated and polyunsaturated. Monounsaturated have only one double bond and are liquids at room temperature but solidify when chilled. Olive oil, avocado and nut butter contains monounsaturated fatty acids. There are again two forms, omega-9 and omega-7. Well, omega-9 is also known as oleic acid and is also found in olive oil, nuts, especially peanuts and walnuts. They are the most abundant fats in most of the cells of our body and hence they are not essential fatty acids. Omega-9 helps in reducing the risk of cardiovascular disease and stroke. A clinical trial published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition concluded that the use of oleic acid was associated with increased physical activity, more energy and even less anger. Next one is omega-7 which is also known as palmitolic acid. It is little known but highly promising fatty acid. Just like omega-9, omega-7 is also not an essential fatty acid and is found in few dietary sources like macadamia nuts, avocado oil, olive oil, fatty fish and sea buckthorn oil. Omega-7 is found in your tissues and liver. These fats help in reducing your high blood sugar, lipid levels, inflammation and excess fat gain as well as it also enhances your insulin sensitivity. Researchers at the Cleveland Clinic found that by taking omega-7 for just 30 days, patients had 44% reduction in C-reactive protein, which is linked to inflammation. So omega-7 helps in reducing inflammation in our body and it directly impacts omega-3's ability to work better. 
So this explains about monounsaturated fatty acids and their benefits on our health. Now let's talk about polyunsaturated fatty acids. These fats have two or more double bonds. They are liquids at room temperature and are often referred to as oils. They are essential fatty acids and are found in fatty fish and plant-based oils, nuts and seeds. These fats are little unstable meaning they can oxidize easily and get rancid. They can go toxic inside the body and even outside the body but these fats are very important for our body. These fats include omega-3 and omega-7. Omega-3 fatty acids are very important for the functioning of our body cells. They help in energy production and play important roles in heart, lungs, blood vessels and immune system. They are of three types, EPA, DHA and ALA. EPA and DHA are mostly found in animal foods like fatty fish and have anti-inflammatory effects. Whereas ALA is found in plant oils like flaxseed, soya bean and canola oil. And ALA gets converted to EPA and DHA but in smaller proportion. So it's always better to get your omega-3 from algae or fish oil sources instead of flaxseed or chia sources as our body doesn't have to undergo another step of conversion. Next is omega-6 fatty acids and they are found in plant oils. Unlike omega-3, omega-6 causes inflammation in our body by stimulating number 2 prostaglandins. The recommended ratio of omega-6 to omega-3 is 4 is to 1, but our diets generally contain 10 is to 1 to 50 is to 1, and that's quite high and very harmful for our body. So both the fats are important for our body, but we need to focus more on omega-3 fatty acids. Second category of fat is saturated fat. Traditionally, saturated fats were linked with heart diseases, but according to Harvard University, researchers now think they may not be as bad as once thought. These fats are saturated with hydrogen molecule and contain only single bond, so they are solids at room temperature. Saturated fats are found in animal products like meat, milk, cheese, butter, ghee, and in some oils like coconut and palm oil. These fats are not that bad as they form 50% of the cell membrane. They are required for brain development and immune system. Saturated fats also have antimicrobial properties. So don't take this as an excuse to binge on bacon and butter, but use saturated fats sparingly. Last ones are trans fats and they are the worst fats. You can find them in fried foods like french fries, donuts, vegetable shortenings, margarine, baked goods like cakes, cookies, pastries and processed snack items like crackers and microwavable popcorn. Trans fats are usually unsaturated fats but they are made bad by the process of hydrogenation. So in simple language, hydrogen is added to vegetable oil which causes the oil to solidify at room temperature. This partially hydrogen oil doesn't spoil easily and as a result foods have a longer shelf life. Restaurants use this oil in deep fries because they do not have to change this oil as often as others. Trans fats increases the risk of heart attack, stroke and type 2 diabetes. They also increases inflammation and triglyceride levels. So to avoid trans fats, read labels to look for partially hydrogenated items and avoid processed foods. So according to WHO, you need to get 10% of your calories from saturated fat, 25 to 30% of calories from unsaturated fat and less than 1% of calories from trans fat. And your total fat consumption should not be more than 25 to 30% of your daily calories. So to conclude, while trans fats are harmful, saturated fats are not bad though they are not as healthy as unsaturated fats. Healthier fats are important for our body, but they need to be consumed in moderation as all fats are high in calories. Also, try not to eliminate fats completely, but remember to choose foods that provide good fats and try to balance out the amount of calories you eat to the amount of calories you burn. Now, you must be wondering which oils are best for my health. Coconut oil, olive oil, vegetable oil, canola oil, butter, ghee. 
Don't worry as in my next video I am going to talk about good and worst oils and for that don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon so that you get notified about my new videos. So if you like this video hit the like button and share this video. Do follow me on Instagram and Facebook page. Thanks for watching and I will see you next week.